Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another tech time type uh, video. I think it does, uh, sometimes I uh, like to make them because I get many questions when I make this uh, video stuff flying, but uh, what do I have inside? So I'm thinking maybe to make a tech video to put us inside. And, uh, maybe run a body for your first turbine or some advice or expert but uh, I can tell you what has been working for me. So I checked out uh, how many cycles I have had, uh, had with uh, this uh, turbine. So I bought this, uh, this is new for me, Swebian turbine. This turbine is not so super popular here in the uh, EU yet. But I know in uh, the US and um, Asia they are using a lot of these turbines. And, uh, Start failures or flame outs or anything. Despite I have made some crappy decisions uh, with my uh, clock the first time, so I changed that. And with that other clock, it made a lot of flame outs. And even with that, it is uh, stopped. So I've been very happy with this one. So I had 43 cycles now with this one. In three hours and 43 minutes have been has been the runtime with this turbine. Brushless, bought from Svevin, uh, Italia. And uh, I like it. I love it. That's how much I like it. Usually I go prefer to buy Sequoia, but this summer Gaspar has, um, I think he has uh, expanded his business and uh, had to take a bit of bigger space for his uh, production of uh, turbines, so they're not available. So I went with this one, and if we take a look inside, I have one turbine battery, which is uh, 3,700 3S for this. And for installation, I have a fuel pump up here and my ECU here. And um, air trap. I have a uh, Digitech 100 milliliters and for guidance I have the Tandem 18 uh, R18 so no gyro in this one with the 900 and the 2.4 antennas and I have this 3D printed uh, so I don't fill up my uh, my uh, compartment with grass and uh, you can see here for a receiver and for gyro I have a Cortex not a, not a Cortex Pro but a normal Cortex and with that it's super stable and for um, and for, uh, for uh, servos I bought this uh, King Max CLS servos, 10 kilo servos, and that's the MIDI servo, and what is a pain in the ass for these, uh, these, uh, these planes are that I use this MIDI servos, not standard and not small, so, so they're quite hard to find, so I found this at AliExpress and a very nice price, like I think like $23 per or something, which is a very good price. And uh, this, the biggest problem I had with this mall was the stock landing gear. The landing gear is, is okay, but the brakes were flattened very fast. So that's the same problem as they had on the MV339 from Horizon Hobby. So I had to put on some new wheels and brakes. I don't know the brand. These are fairly. This came with a, a plane from um, Aerofoam models. And was the first generation of the 339 so uh, Banana Hobby, excellent customer service they sent new JP brakes so I had this one lying around so I put this on this one but I will buy uh, JP brakes for this one so that is uh, better because the 
many complain about uh, the brakes on this incline. But the rear tracks have been working great, so can't complain too much. And the uh, aircraft, all in all, it's like super smooth, easy to fly and easy to land. And yeah, I've had a great time with it. So it had 43 startups. So I probably have flown it. I had some UTA problems first, so like I have like 39-ish flights on it, I think now. So I've been having a ball with this uh, model this year, this summer. So I can work on this. So good. That's what's inside, and if you want to have your first turbine and have the good space available, like we have here. Uh, 